Yo, 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 I am Anoparanand, back! So, this is a game changer lecture from uh, the chapter of kinematics that I am going to show you. First of all, I am just going to quickly outline what I am going to be discussing today so you guys get an idea. Uh, I am going to be talking about what is known as optimal trajectories, projectile motion. Mein. Optimal trajectories, uh, mein, what I am going to show you first is a cute method to maximize the distance or the range of a projectile. Uh, in general, not just ground to ground projectile, oblique projectile ki baat karunga main. Then I want to show you the uh, st standard derivation also. Vise cute methods, mein, teen cute methods developed kiya mein, usme se ek bataunga main. One I have already shown in the first lecture of kinematics in Game Changer. You can check it out at winnerapple.com. The first lecture of uh, Game Changer hai. Uh, you don't have to watch that in order to understand what I'm going to be teaching today. You can watch it later as well. This lecture is completely independent of uh, that. So, so three good methods. One I have already in the first lecture. Mein diya. You can check it out uh, on your own. Today I will tell you another method. And another method is uh, vector products. I will tell you another method. My focus is not proofs today. My focus is applications on, in a variety of questions. Then uh, I also, I'll also show you the standard me method in order to get the uh, op most optimal trajectory in order to maximize the range. Uh, it's a long method but uh, you should still know how it's done. Then I'll show you a reverse application of the uh, cute method that we develop here and we'll questions a few questions. Then we'll do a question where the trajectory is constrained by some obstacle. Then we'll do something called uh, safety parabola. And finally, my favorite part, so do watch till the end. Favorite part is application to a situation where projectile motion is not there, and then we'll solve the question in a single equation. Jo lamma lamma methods hai, uh, for such questions, we'll solve it very easily. Okay, so I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's go. Alright, so let me take uh, the most general situation for a projectile. Ki kisi point se speed use a project kiya gaya hai. And it lands on a ground which is at a uh, depth edge, let's say. So, I have to maximize the range. The horizontal displacement of the projectile is to maximize karna mujhe. And I can vary this angle here. This angle ko I can vary. So, this um, maximum range aata hai, that comes out to be equal to uv by g, where u is the initial speed, v is the final speed. We will quickly prove this as well. Uh, in general, range comes out to be equal to uv sin phi by g. Where phi is the angle between u vector and v vector. The initial velocity vector hai, or final velocity vector hai. Unke beech ka agar angle kuch phi agar apne ko pata hai, I can, we can write the range in terms of uh, u, v and phi. So, this is the general situation and the maximum range will occur when uh, sin phi becomes 1. So, we will talk more about this when we uh, just quickly prove this. So, like I said, three cute methods hai. I am going to select one of them today. Alright, so in this the initial uh, velocity u hai, that is at an angle of theta with the horizontal. Now, if I talk range, ki baat karu, to can I write range is the horizontal component of velocity multiplied by the time of flight? No horizontal direction mein acceleration is not. So, ut plus half at square, mein, half at square is 0. Ho gaya. So, can I just write my range is? In general, can I write ranges horizontal component of velocity u cos theta into time of flight? Achha. If I have g se multiply or divide karo, and I'll tell you why I'm doing that. And I group it this way. Kya g se multiply or divide kya open G cos theta into t. Ye jo quantity hai. Physically, what is that? What is g cos theta? G vector to niche acceleration. What is g cos theta? The component of acceleration perpendicular to velocity, correct? Perpendicular to initial velocity. Component of acceleration perpendicular to initial velocity. Into time. Acceleration into time, kitna Velocity. Kis axis ke along likhre? 
the axis perpendicular to the initial velocity and therefore g cos theta into t becomes nothing but u times component of velocity final velocity which is uh, perpendicular to u vector the component of velocity which component the component that is perpendicular to u vector ठीक है हो गया फाइनल वेलोसिटी और इनिशियल वेलोसिटी के बीच में अगर एंगल फाइव है तो व्हाट इज द कंपोनेंट ऑफ v परपेंडिकुलर टू u कंपोनेंट ऑफ v अलोंग u कितना होगा v cos phi वेक्टर्स कंपोनेंट ऑफ v परपेंडिकुलर टू u कितना होगा v sin phi तो ये जो पूरा चीज हो गया कंपोनेंट ऑफ v परपेंडिकुलर टू u वो क्या बन गया v sin phi दैट्स इट That's it. Our range is u v sine phi by g. That's what I have uh, quickly proven. Very straightforward. Very simple proof. And when I show you the standard derivation, you will realize that this is so cute. Okay. The standard derivation is very long. Okay. This is very cute. All right. So uh, when is range maximized? If I keep varying the angle theta, so initial velocity vector, final velocity vector, ke beech ka bhi angle vary hota jayega. It should be pretty obvious. Sine phi ka value kitna hona chahiye maximum ke liye? One. So maximum range becomes u v by g when sin phi becomes 1. Sin phi becomes 1 matlab kya? Phi is 90 degree and what is phi? Initial velocity, final velocity ke beech ka angle and that has to be 90 degrees. So u vector should be. So the optimal trajectory matlab uh, aise angle pe hum log fake rahe such that the particle goes as far as possible. That will occur when the final velocity at the point till which we want to maximize the distance us point which velocity hai, that is perpendicular to initial velocity theek hai to ye mera maximum range okay ye to we have to just remember this so this very straightforward maximum range is u v by g occurs when u vector is perpendicular to v vector now you might be thinking ki ye to theek hai initial speed pata hai final speed pata hai to nikal jayega maximum range but what if final speed nahi pata apne ko final speed nahi pata tha we know we knew the height can i get the final speed of course you can Third equation of motion. Final speed ke can I write v square is u square plus 2gh. Nichi ta rana. This is the relation for speed that you would have uh, studied in your projectile uh, chapter. If you are not aware of the derivation, to to bhi kafi simple hai. Horizontal direction mein velocity vector change ho raha Velocity component rather change ho raha hai kya? Nahi ho raha hai. Koi acceleration hai nahi. Vertical direction mein kaise change hoga? Third equation of motion. Vy square is Uy square plus 2gh. So, I can write Vx is Ux. So, your horizontal direction acceleration hai. And I can write Vy square is Uy square plus 2gh. Agar isko bhi square kar do. Or dono ko add karo. Vx square plus Uy square x or y component kai kisi vector ke square and add karu, to vector ka magnitude ka square mil jayega. To vx plus vy square is v square. ux plus uy square is u square. Ho gaya? Theek hai? So if you're not aware of this, I just quickly proved it. Very simple. Finally, conclusion kya hai? What do we have to remember in order to solve all the good questions? Is this, the maximum range is u v by g. Occurs when u vector is perpendicular to v vector. And v to pata hi hai abhi, v square is u square plus 2 g. That's it. Ye do cheeze apne ko yaad rakhna hai. ठीक है, so अगर तुमको लिखना तो लिख लो या स्क्रीनशॉट ले लो, as you wish, uh, then we'll go uh, ahead. अच्छा एंगल भी देख लेते हैं किस एंगल पे the projectile should be fired to maximize the range, maximum range तो हमने निकाल दिया. तो so we found out the maximum range and we also found out that the final velocity should be perpendicular to initial velocity for the maximum range. तो अगर ये एंगल थीटा है, तो final velocity will make 90 minus theta with the horizontal. Correct. So that will be perpendicular to the initial velocity. Ab, horizontal direction mein koi acceleration hai kya? Nahi hai. So can I just equate the horizontal components? Can I write u cos theta should be equal to v cos of 90 minus theta. And that's it. I'll get tan theta is u by v. Simple. V to pata hi apne ko kaise nikalte hai? Height ke terms mein. So that is the angle at which you should fire the projectile. Very simple. Range yaad rakho. U is perpendicular to v and उसे ये याद रखने की जरूरत भी नहीं है ये तो एक सेंटेंस में डिराइव हो जाएगा एंड यू कैन कंफर्म जो हमने रेंज निकाला था नॉट मैक्सिमम रेंज जो रेंज निकाला था यू वी साइन फाइव 
you can confirm this uh, confirm matlab you can just uh, see that it's it will give you the same result for ground to ground projectile also ground to ground projectile mein initial velocity u final velocity or final speed u same height pe line kar raha hai na ground to ground mein ye angle theta hai to ye bhi angle theta ho jayega symmetric hai parabola to dono ke beech ka angle kitna hai initial velocity and final velocity ke beech mein 2 theta to kitna aa jayega range initial speed u final speed u sin phi is 2 theta by g ye wahi range hai jo aana hi tha waisa bhi but just showing you the range of the ground to ground projectile in a different manner like i said this is the general situation and most useful when the range is maximized theek hai likho now let's look at the standard derivations that are usually taught you can find them on the internet as well in order to maximize the range thoda boring hai but i still got to do it let's take a look तो इट्स वाक इट्स इट्स नॉट अ वेरी गुड मेथड ठीक है हो गया मतलब खुद कर लेना समझ गया ना ये डी आर बाई डी सी जीरो करो कुछ रिलेशन मिलेगा और सब्सिट्यूट करो और सॉल्व करो और यू कैन जस्ट ट्रस्ट मी कि ये क्यूट मेथड का जो आंसर है और इसका जो आंसर है वो सेम आएगा एक और एक्चुअली स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड मेथड्स में एक और तरीका है now let's look at a reverse application of the cute method or of the formula that we developed for the maximum range so suppose mere paas ek uh, ball ko project karna hai suppose you want to project a ball through a hoop and the hoop ka height diya hua hai ball ka initial speed bhi u fixed hai but koi bhi angle pe tum fek sakte ho so you want to find out ki how far can you stand How far can you stand and still be able to throw the ball through the hoop? Hoop means ring. So simple, eh? We just have to maximize this range. Jo maximum range aega niche se upper, wahi maximum range aega upper se niche. Jo ham logon ne derive kiya, wo upper se niche ke liye tha. But symmetric hai. Motion agar upper se wahi speed se fakinge, upper se v speed se fakinge, to niche u speed se land karega exactly along the trajectory. मोशन वी कैन से इट्स रिवर्सिबल तो इसका मतलब क्या कुछ नहीं फाइनल स्पीड यहां पे जो वी है यू वी बाई जी वी कितना हो जाएगा अब ऊपर जा रहा है तो यू स्क्वाइड माइनस टू जी एच डिवाइडेड बाई जी दैट्स इट क्यूट है कि नहीं सो द स्टैंडर्ड वे अगेन इज टू राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ ट्राजेक्ट्री मैक्सिमाइज द रेंज आई दर कैलकुलस ऑफ ऑर्डर ब्ला 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 बट वो सब करने की जरूरत नहीं है I hope you understood U V by G. Use करो and move on. Now let's look at a question where we can apply what we've studied so far. तो एक बार क्वेश्चन पढ़ लेते हैं. Actually, cannon missile तो नहीं shoot करता. Cannon तो पुराने ज़माने का. जो भी यार कुछ तो missile shooter है. ये तुम लोगों को पता रहेगा better than me. PUBG PUBG तुम लोग खेलते हो. मेरे ज़माने में था नहीं PUBG. वैसे I'm not that old. मैंने भी खेला है PUBG. Let's do another question. A particle can be projected with speed 20 meter per second in any direction. Find the maximum displacement, possible displacement to the point where the speed becomes 10 meter per second. So a particle को कोई भी direction में project किया जा सकता है. And when the speed becomes 10 meter per second, so what is this displacement का maximum possible value? G को 10 ले लो. तो बिकॉज द फाइनल स्पीड इज नोन टू अस तो हाइट भी फिक्स हो गया अब एस को मैक्सिमाइज करना है तो गिव इट अ ट्राई थिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल रेंज दैट वी डन सो फार एंड पॉज द वीडियो गिव इट अ ट्राई देन यू कैन टेक अ लुक एट माई सोल्यूशन एंड सी इफ यू गॉट एन इट करेक्ट
ओके सो ये देखो ये मेरा रेंज बन गया हॉर्जोंटल डिस्प्लेसमेंट और ये मेरा हाइट बन गया अब हाइट तो फिक्स है ना क्यों बिकॉज अगर फाइनल स्पीड फिक्स है इनिशियल स्पीड पता है तो हाइट भी पता है बिकॉज आई नो वी स्क्वेड इज यू स्क्वेड प्लस टू जी एच करेक्ट तो मेरा हाइट हो जाएगा वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर बाई टू जी अच्छा तो अगर मुझे एस मैक्सिमाइज करना है दैट बेसिकली बॉइल्स डाउन टू मैक्सिमाइजिंग आर रेंज को मैक्सिमाइज कर दे तो एस ऑटोमेटिकली मैक्सिमाइज हो जाएगा बिकॉज एच तो फिक्स है पाइथागोरस थियरम से एस पता है सो एस का मैक्सिमम वैल्यू का स्क्वायर पाइथागोरस से कैन आर राइट इट एच स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर एंड एच आर मतलब मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ आर एच कितना है अभी अभी हम लोगों ने निकाला वी स्क्वायर माइनस अच्छा ये मैंने एक यहाँ पे एक मिस्टेक किया हाइट ऊपर जाएगा ना बिकॉज स्पीड कम हो रहा तो एक नेगेटिव साइन आएगा करेक्ट सो लेट मी जस्ट फिक्स दैट आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट आई वॉट मिस्टेक आई डेट एंड हाउ एम फिक्सिंग इट स्पीड एट अ हाइट विल बी लेसर सो यहाँ पे यू स्क्वायर माइनस वी स्क्वायर आ जाएगा ठीक है ओके और क्या है और हाइट हाँ तो हाइट में लिख रहा हूँ हाइट आम राइटिंग एड एस यू स्क्वायर माइनस वी स्क्वायर बाय टू जी प्लस रेंज का मैं क्या लिख सकता हूँ मैक्सिमम रेंज यू वी बाई जी उससे बिकम यू वी बाई जी द होल स्क्वायर इसको भी स्क्वायर कर दो कुछ नहीं यार बस स्क्वायर एंड ऐड करो स्क्वायर करो ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी वाला फॉर्मूला यूज करो बहुत सिंपल है एंड यू शुड गेट इट एस द मैक्सिमम रेंज यू गेट इट एस यू स्क्वायर प्लस वी स्क्वायर बाय टू जी ये ये खुद कैलकुलेशन कर लो यार अभी मैं नहीं कर रहा हूँ तो हो गया बस यू को ट्वेंटी डालो वी को टेन डालो कितना आ जाएगा ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर मतलब फोर हंड्रेड फाइनल मतलब वी स्क्वायर इज कितना हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाय ट्वेंटी तो कितना आ जाएगा ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर्स दैट्स इट दैट्स द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट टू द पॉइंट विद स्पीड कैन बिकम टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड बहुत सिंपल ऐसे क्वेश्चन में जब मैक्सिमम पूछे तो यूजली पीपल जस्ट इमीडियटली थिंक ऑफ कैलकुलस मैक्सिमा कैलकुलस मैक्सिमा कैलकुलस बट देर आर बेटर मेथड्स लाइक वी हैव शोन हियर लिख लो नाउ लेट्स लुक एट अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन वेर द मोशन और द ट्रेजिक्टी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल इज कंस्ट्रेंड बाई सम ऑब्स्टिकल तो यहाँ पे एक स्फियर है मेरे पास स्फियर ऑफ रेडियस आर Now let's look at another application of the uh, maximum range cute formula that I showed you. देखो कैसा टाइप का क्वेश्चन है अ पार्टिकल इज बींग लॉन्च विद स्पीड ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन बट इट कैन बी लॉन्च इन एनी डायरेक्शन कोई भी एंगल पर लॉन्च किया जा सकता है द क्वेश्चन कैन इट रीच फोर्टी का वो माइनस सिक्स कैन इट रीच एटी का वो माइनस फिफ्टी सो हाउ टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकली अगर मैं ऑप्शन ए के थ्रू ही बताऊँ एट वाई को माइनस सिक्स मतलब सिक्स मीटर्स बिलो द बिलो द ओरिजिन तो ये जो रेंज है ये ये रेंज हो जाएगा ना ये ये जो रेंज है उसका अगर मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज लेसर देन फोर्टी तो ऑफकोर्स नहीं पहुंच पाएगा अगर मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू ही फोर्टी से कम है तो फोर्टी तक तो जा ही नहीं पाएगा ना बस वही कैलकुलेट करना है मुझे सो मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू कितना हो जाएगा रेंज वाला फॉर्मूला इनिशियल स्पीड ट्वेंटी फाइनल स्पीड कितना हो जाएगा U square plus 2gh plus 2 into 10 into h is कितना दिया h six divided by g u v by g क्या मैंने अब देख लो ये कितना आ जाएगा two uh, times 400 plus 120 तो ये बन जाएगा four uh, root 130 है ना now this is obviously greater than 40 40 is 4 into 10. This is 4 into root 130. Root 130 is greater than 10. So this is greater than 40. So the maximum possible x coordinate that you can reach at y coordinate minus 6 is 4 root 130, which is greater than 40. So no other angle be 40 to reach it. Jaiing ke apan. So 40 can be accessed. So yes, this can be reached. Option B. Ab option B khud try karlo. Similar process hi karna.
Now let's look at something called the safety parabola. Yeah, uh, it's also called the enveloping parabola. And now my favorite question, favorite part of this lecture. A projectile situation hai nahi. Fir bhi we'll apply that and we'll make this complicated question seem like the most lallu question. Dekhte. So, a cleaning brush hai yahan par. Imagine karo, main jhadu maar raho. Thik hai, ye top view hai. This is the top view. So, upar se dekh rahe hai. Ek ant hai. Ye ant hai mera. And, <coughs> ye jo uh, brush hai. That starts from rest. And accelerates with acceleration A. Constant acceleration A se jata hai. Sweeping the ground. Ground ko sweep karta hai jata hai. Uska length L hai and the ant is symmetrically, uh, initially symmetrically positioned. Matlab uh, ye length, ye L by 2, ye L by 2. And it's at a distance D from the brush, from the center of the brush. So kya bolo hai? An ant can run in any direction with constant speed U. Koi bhi direction hai jata hai. Along the floor. It's a top view I remember. Find the minimum value of L so that the ant gets swept up by the brush. Koi bhi direction ant jai, I want to find the minimum value of this length L so that whatever the ant does, we will be able to sweep it up. So, thoda mujhe bura lag raha ant ke liye. You can frame the question in another manner ki uh, uh, find the length L such that ant will be able to escape. Wo bhi kar sakte ho. Thoda mujhe ant ke liye bura lag raha, but okay, it's fiction. Chalta hai. Okay, here is not a projectile, this is all horizontal surface. This is the top view, you can see it from the top view. And the brush is going this way. The brush is going this way. And here is the ant, the ant can run in any direction. This is my ground. Okay, so if you want to give it a try, you can. I have given a hint, we are doing this question in this lecture. So something must be related to the projectile situation. So try it, then you can take a look at my solution. Okay, so here, projectile is not anything. However, if I change the frame of reference, if I go in the frame of the brush, I will go in the frame of the brush. This is the brush, I will go in the frame of the brush. So, brush stationary became. तो ब्रश के फ्रेम में एंट का जो एक्सेलरेशन है वो ए डाउनवर्ड्स हो गया इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ एंट तो सी इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ ब्रश तो जीरो है तो इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ एंट तो यू ही रहेगा सो नाउ द एंट कैन ट्रेवल इन एनी डायरेक्शन करेक्ट ओके कैन यू सी सिमिलैरिटीज टू प्रोजेक्टाइल इट्स लाइक प्रोजेक्टाइल इज थ्रोन एट एन एंगल यू विद स्पीड यू एंड इट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली Getting accelerated, it has an acceleration g downwards. So, this is in vertical plane, this is in horizontal plane. This is top view. But mathematically, they are both the same. So, it's g. It's a place where g is here. It's a place where g is here. So, here it was the maximum range. So, this is my l by 2. This is the whole l. So, this is l by 2. In brush frame, the particle or the ant rather, is going to perform parabolic trajectory, projectile motion because same situation है, देखो, ये जो height था h, वो अब क्या मेरा d, so if I can find out the maximum possible range of the ant, उससे थोड़ा भी ज़्यादा अगर मेरा comb मेरा brush का length हो गया, ये l by two उससे थोड़ा ज़्यादा हो गया, then my job is done, ant cannot escape, तो I want to figure out what is the maximum possible range? How much will it be? I will do it with L by 2. It is understood that it is slightly more than that. So, L by 2 is equal to L by 2 divided by L by 2. So, L by 2 is equal to L by 2. So, L by 2 is equal to maximum range. How much will it be? U, V by G. Now, G is equal to A. And V is equal to U square plus 2G H. G is equal to A, H is equal to D. And we are done. So, look. L by 2 is equal to U. V is equal to V. Here, the speed will be equal to V. U square plus 2 GH, G means A, H means D. 
डिवाइडेड बाय जी जी मतलब एट सो so, एल दूसरा मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ लेंथ ऑफ द ब्रश दैट शुड बी देयर सो द एंड कैन नॉट स्केप दैट इज इट You have to realize कितना how incredible this method is. You have to realize if you do it by the standard method, किसी को कोई friend वैन को पूछ लो एक क्वेश्चन दे दो immediately they'll go to calculus, they go to equation of trajectory. They'll try and write uh, some angle theta लिख के फिर angle theta के respect में differentiate करेंगे I mean I hope right now you're standing up in your seat and applauding for this incredible method. I'm very excited, but you can't blame me. मतलब ऐसा क्वेश्चन जिसमें प्रोजेक्टाइल है ही नहीं उसको हम लोगों ने एक इक्वेशन में सॉल्व कर दिया एंड दैट इज वॉट गेम चेंजर इज ऑल अबाउट गेम चेंजर कोर्स इज ऑल अबाउट सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन विद एक्सट्रीमली क्लेबर मेथड्स एंड ऐसा भी नहीं है कि ये क्वेश्चन ये मेथड स्ट्राइक नहीं होगा तुमको बहुत ही सिंपल था जस्ट गो फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड फ्रेम टू द ब्रश फ्रेम एंड रिकोगनाइज इट इज एक्जैक्टली लाइक ऑब्लिक प्रोजेक्टाइल सो I hope you've enjoyed the lecture I certainly have that's it for today I'll see you at the top good night